who I know even you that you are watching this video, you either wanted to study medicine or nursing when you were given anatomy. If you are studying anatomy, physiology, or other paramedics, especially those that you cannot definitely say that there is a specific place that they work in the hospital, this video is for you. And I want you to get along with me with a plain mind so that you get all that I want to tell you. Let me first say that in Nigeria, unemployment is on the high side. It is not only those who study anatomy, physiology, or other paramedics that are looking for job. These days, even those who study those courses that would think they are a big course, like engineering, like accounting, like medicine, they are on the street also looking for job. The difference between people or he or she works in bank, because you as an anatomist, you don't know where you're going to work in Nigeria. And this video will open your eyes to many places where you can work as an anatomist. By the grace of God, I studied human anatomy for my first degree and I practiced my profession using my first degree. I got my job with my first degree. I got my job with my BTEC in anatomy and this video will also open your eyes to how you can get job with your BSc or BTEC degree. The first place where you can work as an anatomist with your BSc degree is you can work as a laboratory technologist or laboratory scientist in medical schools. When you go to any college of medicine now, especially in the department of anatomy, most people that you find working in the lab are those that have degree in anatomy. We all know that anatomy is a very unique course. The study of human bodies, its functions. Anatomists are now employed in lab now to work and train students in the laboratory, during laboratory sessions. So if you have your BSc degree, you can be lucky to get a job as a laboratory scientist or laboratory technologist working in the lab. And your role is to teach students during gross dissection or during their histologic practical classes. That is the first place where you can work with your BSc degree. Now, another place where you can work as an anatomist is still in the academic environment. You can work as a lecturer or as a faculty member in any university. With your BSc degree, especially if you graduate with a first class or a second class upper, you can be fortunate to get a graduate assistant position with your first degree. You have just your BSc degree and you have good grades. You can probably during your NYC, if you are fortunate to serve in a university or you serve in an institution, you can be employed there as a graduate assistant after your NYC. And if you want to go higher in that profession, you can then go for your postgraduate studies, having your master's and PhD. This will allow you to get to the peak of your career. By that time, there is no limitation. You can get employed as a stand lecturer and from the old lecturer too. And from there, you begin to progress till you get to the peak of your career. That means a professor of anatomy. Another place where you can work as an anatomist is to be a teacher of anatomy in school of nursing or school of air technology. Yeah, with your BSc degree, without even masters or anything, you can be a teacher of anatomy in any school of nursing. One thing that you need to know is that what you carry matters. What you carry matters if you don't graduate with a good de degree, probably you just had third class or whatever, it might not really, you might enter into a competitive environment, right? Because many people have good grade and they are in the labor market looking for job. But you need to be distinct by graduating with a good degree. With this, you can get employed or any of these institutions and teach anatomy. The only problem is that, yes, all of us cannot end up being a teacher, right? And that will lead me to the next area where you can work as an anatomist. Another place where you can work as an anatomist is to work in 
in vitro fertilization centers as embryologists. Don't forget anatomy as our branches, embryology, neuroanatomy, gross anatomy, histology, genetics, cell biology. It's so wide, right? As an anatomist, you can also specialize in embryology. You can decide to be an embryologist. And there are a lot of IVF centers in Nigeria. I don't think there is a state now in Nigeria that does not have, please do your finding, that does not have IVF centers. These centers employ an anatomist, microbiologists in their lab. The only thing that you need is to know the techniques. Many are times when these uh, anatomists are employed, they are trained. They have, some, uh, they have to have some hands-on training that will make them know how to cut short tissue, you know, and all that. The techniques are necessary if you want to be an embryologist and you can actually be trained if you are fortunate to get a job in any IVF center. Another area where you can work as an anatomist is to work as a mortician in any environment or funeral home. If these days you know that people that do not even have any degree or any certificate in embalming are the people that are embalming, right? But you as an anatomist, you've been taught everything about the body system. In fact, most schools, embalming techniques is part of the curriculum. So it's good to be self-dependent, isn't it? Yeah, we've seen people that even graduate as medical doctors and with my job you need to see what these people are also going through and they end up creating their own institution creating their own hospital and practicing right you as an anatomist too you can you can function as a mortician you can i, I i've seen some embalming centers where when you get there you, you you give them salute because it is superb why because the person that owns the, that institution or that center is an alert person. Even if eventually you will employ some other mortician to be doing the embalming for you, but at least it is you that owns that center. And with that, you can be a CEO, you can be an employer of labor. You can do a lot of things with your BSc degree. You, can, you collaborate with other people, if maybe physiologists, pathologists, microbiologists, chemists, you do, you collaborate with them and research, for instance, you can research the cause of a particular disease and how to provide therapeutic solution to them. You can look at some diseases that are common in your environment and decide to carry out a research on that disease. For instance, cancer is so common now. You can like, oh, want to know the cause of cancer and start your research. You might not be able to do it alone. You can collaborate with other people. You can walk to your institution and see some professors of medicine, some professors of anatomy, and tell them you actually have the research that you want to carry out. And with this, you can get grants, you can get sponsorship to carry out this research. So these are the areas where you can work as an anatomist. Another thing that your BSc degree can earn you is to further and study medicine. Many people, I know even you that you are watching this video, you either wanted to study medicine or nursing when you were given anatomy. But probably because of one thing or the other, you couldn't change the course and you graduate with anatomy. You can also further your your education, your dream of becoming a doctor can still come to reality with your BSc degree. All you need to do is just to take direct entry form to any Nigerian university, I do jam, and if you have good grade, if you, if you want to do this, you must have second class upper division upward, second class upper and first class. I don't know if some institution um, accept second class lower. Please do your findings. With this, you can study medicine. Even in advanced countries, if you want to study medicine, you must first have first degree in any paramedics or any biology related course before you can then be uh, admitted to study medicine. And that will take you like four or five years, depending on when you are studying. Another thing that your BSc degree can earn you 
his admission outside the country. These days, there are a lot of scholarship opportunities for people. I've seen people that studied anatomy getting employed, getting admission outside the country to study neuroscience, to study neurobiology, to study cell biology, and any specialty. Even if you browse, just Google search scholarships for anatomists, or you can just search any specialty that you want to really major in. Maybe you want to major in neuroanatomy, neurobiology, neuroscience, cell biology, histology. There are a lot of anatomy is so wide. You can choose an area that you want to specialize it and begin to do your research on it. With that, you can get admission outside the country and your dream of becoming a scientist come to reality. These are the points that I can gather so far. If you know other areas where you can work as an anatomist, please kindly put it in the comment section. Let's help our people. With your BSc degree, you can do a lot. Okay, so if you have any question, please reach out to me. You can also drop it as a comment. And please subscribe to my channel. Even though it's a career talk today, this can help your friends. Please share this with any anatomist around you. Share it with any physiologist around you or anybody that study any biology related course. I wish you were in this profession. May the Lord help you. I will see you again.